Heartland Season 17 Episode 9 has just been released, and I'm here to do a recap and review of what happened. While starting at a good place for all the characters, the episode slowly took a terrible turn and every character ended up being sad and upset, except Katie, which is ironic. One surprising storyline concerned Nathan and his past life, which was quite interesting to watch. He and Amy had a fallout after Nathan said something bad about Ty's death. And we saw Amy returning to her favorite place, the swing that Ty built for her. Without further ado, let's look at the major storylines of this episode. Episode 9 included the big return of a character we haven't seen for a while. Miranda's return was a bit awkward. She and Tim still had things they needed to work out, but the main focus of this episode for them was the fact that Shane and Chloe were moving to London after the wedding. Apparently, Chloe got a job offer in London, UK, and Shane was leaving his job to go with her. This was wrong for Miranda. She didn't want her son sacrificing his job for Chloe. But it also seemed Miranda had a lot of resentment for Chloe besides the moving to London thing. Starting with her arrival, Chloe asked for so many things for her wedding. She wanted a gazebo to be built and she wanted to ride Nathan's horse at the wedding. She acted a bit entitled. Tell me what do you think about her in the comments below. Tim didn't want to interfere in Shane and Chloe's business, but Miranda encouraged him to. Shane didn't like this. After talking to Lou and getting some advice, Shane decided to talk to his parents. He told them to stay out of his and Chloe's decisions. That was the end of that storyline. Episode 9 also saw Garland Food dropping as Heartland's sponsor. Even though Lou did a great pitch to stay on the company's radar, Fred didn't even have the guts to tell them what was going on. From the conversation between Amy and Nathan, it was understood that Garland Food would now be sponsoring Price Beef, although we'll learn more about this in the season finale. After what happened in the previous episode, it was obvious that Jack was heard about the picture shown in the gallery opening. Jessica hadn't asked for his permission. We learned that the picture showed a very private moment when Jack visited Lindy's grave and talked to her during their anniversary. Jack didn't want that intimate moment to be shared with other people, which is quite understandable. Before Jessica was able to take down the photograph, someone bought it, which caused another issue between her and Jack. At the end, though, Jessica bought back the picture by paying double and made up with Jack. Well, everything started pretty well for Nathan and Amy. They saw each other riding in the fields and decided to ride together. This was when Nathan's horse powder started acting up and Amy offered her professional help. They started working on powder. Their scenes were great together because Nathan made so many jokes. He was making Amy laugh all the time. After improving Powder's condition, they went on another ride where Nathan took Amy to his favorite place. They climbed up a tree together and enjoyed a great view of the countryside. Nathan asked Amy about her husband and she told him about Ty's passing. While trying to get down the tree, they fell into each other's arms. Amy laughed so much that it made me think, I don't remember the last time we saw Amy laughing like that. She seemed genuinely happy. But while getting up, she saw Nathan and someone else's initials carved up on the tree, which immediately soured the moment. Amy wasn't being intrusive, but Nathan suddenly showed a sad face. Then we learned that the initials were of his ex-wife Tristan, who Nathan believed would be his forever love, but apparently Tristan cheated on him and they broke up because of that. This caused Nathan to believe that every relationship ends in heartbreak. Amy gave the example of her relationship with Ty as a counter-argument, but Nathan pointed out how that ended in heartbreak too, which was a bit rude. Amy didn't like it either. The episode ended with everyone at their favorite place, with Amy going back to the swing Ty had built for her and Nathan climbing up the same tree. I don't know if this meant they were both still hung up on their past relationships. One part of me feels like Nathan will be over his pessimistic attitude because Amy's love will change him. Call me a hopeless romantic. I don't care. That was it for episode 9. The next episode will be the season finale. Let's hope everything ends well. What did you think of this episode? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon.